In terms of symbols of power, it's probably the most recognizable building on Earth. Located at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, D.C., the White House is the home and office of the President of the United States of America. There's a lot of history inside its hallways, and many great world leaders have been guests here. Over the decades, this symbol of American leadership has been constantly expanded, renovated, burned down, and re-renovated to get the building we know today. In fact, through all those presidents and all those renovations, much has happened behind the facade of the White House that the public doesn't really know. Good thing we're here to tell you some of this building's hidden secrets. Sign in at the visitor's desk, don't look the Secret Service agents directly in the eye, and be sure to hit that subscribe button and activate your notifications. Hidden Alarms Despite all the publicity given the various fence jumpers that managed to get either close or even into the White House, there is no denying it is very well guarded. In fact, one of the keys to the security system is an array of alarms throughout the grounds and main building. We'll talk about outside later, but for now, let's move into the White House and specifically the Oval Office. This location is the President's personal office and one area the Secret Service doesn't usually stay in while the President is there. Instead, they will often wait outside. Being out of sight of POTUS would normally worry the agents, but there are systems in place to let them know if everything is all right or going badly on the other side of the door. According to one expert, the interior of the Oval Office contains various objects which, if moved, can trigger an alarm. Marked with the presidential seal, the president knows that if he moves any of these trinkets or ornaments, the Secret Service will come bursting into the room. So just be careful not to touch anything on his desk or on the shelves if you ever happen to stumble into this area. Infrared Heading back outside, every few decades that pass have seen the White House grounds get more strongly protected. For instance, there was a time when people could just walk right up to the White House and not get tackled by a couple of agents. Then the fences came, and the Secret Service started ratcheting things up. Today, large areas around the White House are cordoned off, and if you want to get close, then you have to get through all sorts of security first. This protection ranges from very visible fencing and guards to unseen sensors and agents watching from the shadows. Despite this, people still try and jump the fence. If not spotted by security, within seconds, infrared sensors have triggered alarms throughout the property. These electronic eyes can't be fooled and can pick up people regardless of the time of day or the weather. Think of it like how the Predator saw his victims in those famous movies from the 80s. Only instead of getting shot with lasers, you get tackled by guard dogs and very angry special agents. Air and Water Quality For most of us, when it comes to air and water quality, we use a new water filter or a furnace filter. Then there's the White House. Yes, the president drinks water and breathes air, just like you and me. But to say it was the same water in the same air might not be totally true. You see, as you'd expect, the president's home has a pretty advanced air and water system. Given water sources can be poisoned, all water that flows into the White House has high infiltration as well as an array of sensors monitoring it. If traces of any harmful substances, whether they be poison or radiation, are detected, then the water system shuts down and an internal backup system is used. For the air, the same sort of setup applies. Sensors constantly monitor the air for any foreign or unnatural substances and can be shut down in an instant once the alarm is triggered. Additionally, it is reported that the air pressure inside the White House is kept slightly higher than outside to keep the building safe from any potential chemical or biological threats. Trap Door for many years, there has been speculation that the Oval Office is home to a secret trap door. In fact, many people think this trap door is located under the president's desk, providing an escape route in times of emergency. In actuality, this belief in the trap door is likely an error created by misinterpretation. You see, one of the famous desks used in the Oval Office is known as the Resolute Desk. This piece of furniture has a panel added to the front which opened, like a hidden door. Over time, talk of this feature likely mutated into the belief of the secret trap door. That said, during the Reagan administration, it is reported that a secret door was added to the wall of the Oval Office. In times of emergency, the president can open this door which gives him access to a secret staircase. Where does the secret staircase go? While we would like to think it goes to some secret lair where the president then takes on their superhero persona, 
In actuality, it likely provides access to the extensive underground network found beneath the White House. Underground Yes, those secret doors and passages do lead to an underground network of rooms and tunnels. You've likely heard rumors about them over the years, but nobody has ever been really sure if they existed or not. Well, first things first, there are actually two levels of basement under the White House. This means it goes as deep underground as it stands above ground. So what's down in all this space? We know about the Situation Room and the bowling alley. There's also a flower shop, dentist's office, carpenter shop, chocolate shop, and laundry. It's basically a presidential strip mall. Then, of course, there are all those tunnels which reportedly run to other buildings near the White House. Yes, there was a bomb shelter built there, and at one time there was a passageway built to the Treasury Building. However, today, there is absolutely no solid evidence that an intricate network of tunnels extends outward from the White House throughout the rest of Washington. Come to think of it, that is exactly what the government would want us to think. All right, time for a break from our tour to ask you our quiz. There are over 130 rooms in the White House. Do you know how many bathrooms there are? Ponder that question while we show you five more secrets about this famous building. Rooftop Sensors Everyone knows that the White House is crawling with Secret Service agents. Look closely enough and you can sometimes even see agents up on the roof of the iconic Washington landmark. Now, they aren't up there to get fresh air. In all likelihood, they are keeping a watchful eye over the premises and even manning a sniper rifle or two. They could also be up there to check on all the sensors and antennas that are mounted. Now, don't believe the government when they tell you all those dishes and antenna are for the president's television. We all know POTUS gets the high-end cable package. However, those antenna and other strange-looking objects are said to be a radar system used to monitor the airspace immediately around the White House. We're not 100% sure about that given how large radar systems tend to be. That said, a close look does show cameras and antennas likely used to keep watch over the surrounding area and communicate with other agents on the ground. Of course, there's always the chance that some of the equipment may also be part of an anti-drone system to stop objects from entering the immediate airspace around the building. Pool Secret this White House secret doesn't really involve national security, the safety of the president, or security against armed intruders. It's actually more of a case of simple privacy. In 1975, Gerald Ford decided the White House needed an outdoor pool and had one installed. Ford was apparently crazy about swimming and saw a need for a pool after the old indoor swimming pool, built during the time of FDR, made way for the press room. Built over by the West Wing, the pool was proven popular over the years with every family that has stayed in this historic landmark. Soon after its construction, a cabana was built where the first family could change and shower. Strategically, it also shielded the pool from the West Wing so the first family could swim in privacy. As an added feature, a secret passageway was built which connected the main floor of the West Wing to the cabana. Thanks to this, the president and family members could get to and from the pool without ever having to cross the lawn or potentially getting seen in their swimwear by the paparazzi. The Wine Cellar When you're president of the United States, you control mighty nuclear forces, a massive and modern land army, and head an incredibly powerful economy. You have the ability to spy on pretty much anyone and command the respect of most of the world. You'd think that someone in such a position would also command a pretty impressive wine cellar. After all, a building as regal and historic as the White House surely includes a wine cellar to match. Not so much. The official sommelier at the presidential home is pretty tight-lipped on what exactly the cellar looks like or has in stock. However, other wine experts who have been in say that the cellar is pretty small. How small? Well, in terms of a regular house, the first family reportedly has a wine cellar the size of a small walk-in closet. That's pretty incredible when you think about the rest of the building's size and decor. Allegedly, America's flirtation with prohibition nearly 100 years ago had a role in all of this. By the time the country came to its senses, the original wine cellar was used for something else, meaning a small cupboard was all that was left. We guess it's a good thing President Trump doesn't drink. Pressure Pads 
Inside the White House, the one location the president gets pictured in the most is the Oval Office. Located in the famous West Wing, this is the president's office and the location where he does his daily business of helping to run the country. In terms of privacy, as we mentioned earlier, it's considered the one place the president can truly get away from everyone, even his Secret Service. Agents often wait outside the office, covering the entrances in and out. Meanwhile, inside, the president can go about planning new policies, ordering cruise missile strikes, or even taking a small nap. However, even in this moment of solitude and privacy, the president isn't really alone. You see, in the floor, there are pressure sensors. These sensors send a signal that allow the agents outside the room to know exactly where POTUS is at all times. Whether sitting at his desk or wandering around the opposite side of the room, the agents outside might not be able to see the president, but they know exactly where he is should they need to enter the room in a hurry. Special time. This is maybe one of those secrets that would be best left covered up. However, agents have allegedly revealed this information during interviews, so we figure it's fair game. Just don't say we didn't warn you. Over the years, the White House has been home to many couples and many presidents who had more than a few lady friends drop by, if you know what we mean. Now, the White House has all sorts of private rooms and thick doors, but when you're president of the United States, it's kind of hard to do anything without the staff noticing especially the Secret Service. Well, unfortunately, there isn't really any privacy and the agents know exactly when POTUS and FLOTUS are having some quality time. No, we're not referring to binge-watching Game of Thrones. Reportedly, agents have codenamed Donald Trump and his wife Melania as Renegade and Renaissance, respectively. For the times they get intimate, agents have also revealed that has been given the code phrase discussing the Bosnian problem. So if you ever happen to be on a tour of the White House and hear staff talking about the president and something in Bosnia, we suggest you just end your tour right then and there. So do you have any idea how many bathrooms can be found in the White House? The answer, 35. That is a lot of toilets. But we guess when you throw big parties and have so many world leaders visiting, you need to make sure you have enough facilities. Well, we hope you learned something interesting and not too disturbing about the home of the President of the United States. Of course, at The Richest, there's always more where that came from, and we have a ton of videos about all things presidential. Feel free to check them all out. Just be sure to show us a little love and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, bye bye for now.